Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. Today's daily login reward was the one token or two tokens, which I mean is worth it, especially if you play the game a lot and are needing the tokens. Applying a contract to any players, an easy 100 XP, six points with any shooting guard, and a <laughs> domination. I hate this. I hate when you have to go into domination. But that's for 200 XP as well. But some definitely easy XP right there. Now, obviously, there are some easy moments challenges to get done as well. So I kind of probably should decide, at least on my main account, whether I'm going for David Robinson or not. Now, I probably won't uh, just because I just, for me, I just don't think it's ultimately going to be worth it. But there are a lot of different challenges that you can get a decent amount of M or a decent amount of XP uh, doing them. Even this, if you can honestly get up to the quarter four and do this, that's a lot of XP. So definitely XP is easily attainable, this uh, this kind of um, go around. But the thing is, I'll probably make up my mind a little too late and end up going for it. But that's just kind of the way it happens. But on my no money spent squad account specifically, I have about a 0% chance of getting David Robinson. So I'm not even going to try to do that. So normally I would hop right into Unlimited, upgrade my squad, and, and go right into there. But today we're going to do something different. There is a new pink diamond Evan Fournier card out in the exchange. Now all you do need is an Amethyst, Seiko Dumbia, a Ruby, and Killian Hayes. And to get those cards, you have to play Triple Threat online. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I expect to get both of them today. But hopefully, at least in the next couple of days, I can end up getting Evan Fournier. Maybe on my on my Twitch channel tonight, maybe we'll, we'll do a little No Money Spent episode. We'll have to just see. Uh, but hopefully, I can get Seiko Dumbia and Killian Hayes over the course of this video. I would definitely need to be blessed for that to happen. But obviously, you need to be able to win games to get these cards. So I'm going to go out there with some of my best cards that I do have. But before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button. As we're on the road. 250,000 subscribers. We are going to use some newer people or newer players to hear on this squad. Starting with Gerald Wallace. Let's see who else we could use uh, for just a little bit of fun. Let's use Carl Malone, Gerald Wallace, and then obviously Bob Sir. You've got to you've got to be on my squad as well. So this is the squad we are going to go into some triple threat online games with. I might mix it up here and there, but we're going to start with this squad. Looking at my opponent's squad here, Luka, Lamar, and AD. He's got a good team. Maybe I'll make my team overall a little bit less if these are the guys I'm going to be matching up with. But it's just going to be interesting to see my, how my squad can compete, right? Because obviously I got a good squad, but not as good as his squad right here. So it's just going to be very kind of intriguing to see these guys on display as I give up a wide open throw in the first possession. The important thing is I can't lose these games. That's the important thing. So as long as I'm able to win the game, that's ultimately all that matters. But it's not going to be easy to win the game, especially when I'm up against this type of squads. Come on, Carl. Bro, this is just going to be a, it's going to be tough. No doubt about it. It is going to be tough. I just don't know about Carl Malone's release. It's just it's kind of weird. Obviously, he's got Elgin's base, but the upper, he just leans back. And it's just kind of a weird looking release. Yes, sir. To the cup. Do not get blocked. Thank you. All right. We're moving and grooving. I was able to get up 19 to 13. We did get a quit there in the first game. So one game down, a lot to go. I'm not going to play a ton. I'm probably going to play through the board and just see if I can at least see Killian Hayes or Doom Boya. But at the end of the day, I got I got the whole season to work with. I don't need to win that many unlimited games either. And I don't want to pass up on Evan Fournier. At the end of the day, it's definitely not what I want to pass up on. I wish that... I wish they'd go back to the wheels because now on triple threat boards, look at my options. I either get a shoe pack, one token, or what was the other one? 100 MT. Like that's terrible. Like that is honestly awful. So I don't even I don't even know what they what they're doing with boards, but 100 MT is awful. Like that doesn't even pay for my contract. So where they need to update the prizes, whatever the case may be, they need to do something. Here I need contracts. I'm gonna put you on a little game right here. I'm just gonna put y'all on a little game. If y'all looking for a lot of contracts, I'm going to put y'all on some games. So if you want to search individual contracts, it's going to end up costing you a little bit more. Usually you can get a stack of contracts. There's a stack of 20 uh, for five, you know, 5,500. So just putting you guys on a little bit of game to save you guys some MT in the long run. Definitely a move to do that. Obviously, I did get a deluxe league back as well as the ascension board. So we'll see. Can I get Adrian Dantley? I mean, he's kind of terrible, but if I could get him, I would take him. I mean, I don't know how much he would play, but I would take a, a free Galaxy Opal on my squad. Got the level up Ascension on the first one. I'll take that every single time. 
Let's see. Can I get blessed again? 200 MT. Oh my goodness. Come on. Just let me get to the top board, 2K. That's all. That's all I want. I just wanted one pick at the top board, and that's all. That's really all I can ask for. Two extra picks. Okay. Bless me then, 2K. I see you. What is this? Okay. We got two picks at the top board. I can't even complain. Two picks at the top board for Adrian Dantley. If I get Adrian Dantley, I might lose my mind. And then y'all get y'all y'all get some Adrian Dantley gameplay. You know what I'm saying? If I could get him, that would be absolutely insane because I'm not grinding my level. That's just not something I'm going to do. But if I could get Adrian Dantley out of the Ascension, uh, being the grand prize, I would take that every single time. We'll see. Can I get blessed here? Three extra picks. Okay, we're looking pretty decent right now. We have a chance. A diamond. Okay, a free diamond player. That I'm getting blessed right now. Okay, and then I, right when I say that, I get a foul. But I was getting blessed. No doubt about it. Two extra picks. Look, I can't ask for much more out of this. 250 MT. Come on. Come on, 2K. Another foul, bro. That right down here is rough. Let's go up. 400 MT. It is what it is. I'll take the free diamond player pack. I'll probably pull James Harden because I feel like that's who I always pull. I feel like out of Diamond Series 2 player packs, it's almost a guarantee to be James Harden. Now, last time I checked, James Harden went for like 10K MT, so I would take it. But watch, it's going to be James Harden. 93 overall, number two. Who's this, Kawhi? Okay, I'll take a free Kawhi Leonard. 93 overall. No complaints for me. I thought it would be James Harden, definitely, because I feel like I always get James Harden. But Kawhi Leonard, I mean, welcome to the team. But I'm just going to sell you right away. There's no reason for me to hold on to you. But I'll take it. Nonetheless, the Lux Series 2-pack, if I could pull back-to-back -back, like diamonds, whatever, out of this, that would be fire. I do pull a Ruby Donovan Mitchell. He's not going to go for anything. And then last but not least, out of this Bronze Series 2-pack, it's not going to matter who I pull. I, I, I don't even know if I've ever heard of that dude, but... No disrespect to my mans. We're going to hop right into another game. Now, if I get another tough matchup, I might have to adjust my team because I'm not trying to play sweats all day long. Now, this is more like it. Isak Bonga, Mo Bamba, Lonzo Ball. This is, this is more like the matchups I, I can deal with, right? A couple of rubies. I can I can deal with that because I got a guy like Carl Malone. Oh, yeah, Carl. Bro, his release is so tough to time. Like, it's ugly and it's quick and it's just, it, that is a bad combo. I think it's safe to say that both Carl Malone and Gerald Wallace are very good, but I can't green with either of them. Like, I know they both got takeover and I'm up nine, whatever, but I got to learn how to green with these dudes because if I get into a, like a sweaty competitive game and I can't green with them, it's going to be kind of tough, but obviously they're still hooping. They're still doing their thing. Bonga got a good contest right there. Thank you. I just, that's all I wanted was a bump steal. All possession long. Thank you, sir. And in the game. Getting through another game. We'll see. Are the boards still going to be as bad as the first one? I don't know what they did to these boards, but they've got to update these prizes because 2 has got to realize that the average player, if every player won 50% of the games, nobody's ever getting to the top boards. So 2K, can we please update these boards so people will play triple threat for fun? Because that's what a lot of people do. But these boards are just, the, they're, the, they're honestly despicable. They're a disgrace. Please update these lower tier boards make it at least 500 mt 750 mt three to five tokens per game this is an opponent we like right this is this is we want to play against now obviously against a guy like this he's probably just trying to evo the lebron but i need I, in a game like this i need to start getting comfortable with jared wallace and carl malone okay got a steal on the first special the game come on carl give me a green it's just i'm guessing on every release with him and that's the bad part it's like Eventually, I'll get his release down and I'll be smooth with it. But right now, I'm literally guessing on every single shot attempt. Gerald, can you give me a green? Nope. It's just everything is white with those two. Literally everything. I can't green anything with those two. With Bob Sarah, I can green. But the other two, it's just a mess. See, like I said, I just think he's honestly trying to get his brownie vote up. Uh, wait, never mind. He's coming back playing defense, but another white with Carl. That's what I'm saying. I just do not have their releases now. Obviously, he's just trying to Evo his LeBron up. So, hey, I'll take a basically free win because this guy's team was never in position to beat me. He didn't have... Oh, my. That should have been a lurk. But he didn't have the capabilities to beat me. Now, Bob Sir is the only dude on my squad I can green with. Everybody else, I just stink. 
We'll see what this board looks like. Now we're at the middle tier, so there's more possibilities, but still even here. What is really worth it, right? What is worth it to play a five, six minute triple threat game utilize contracts for? Nothing. Like nothing outside of maybe the contract pack or the tokens if you're grinding for that. But they've got to bring something back. They either got to bring the wheels back or up the prizes because this is terrible. Like objectively, this is terrible. It's not worth grinding at all. So that's hopefully that hopefully 2k takes note in in updates this i don't mind this layout but at least with this they need to increase the like increase the rewards right make the rewards just that little bit better because until you get to the top board nothing's really worth playing i don't even see my opponent's team okay i see baron davis that's fine like if you want to run baron davis at this point in, in in 2k that's fine with me i see kevin love too yeah i'm not too worried about his squad to com to be completely honest with you I'm not gonna lie the more i use bob sarah the really the more i like the card now i don't know about Carl malone gerald wallace yet but i do know i like bob sarah and i'll be honest with you guys he might be he might be my favorite point guard for his specific price in the game that's kind of my thoughts on him right now i don't know why i left kevin love wide open that's just a bad decision this game right here was a lot closer than it should have been i don't even know why this game is close but i will say gerald wallace has had a couple of greens in the game that's been my only positive sign from this game Obviously, I should have won by more, but at least I, before that shot, had greened a couple of shots with Gerald because that, I mean, that's something I need to do more consistently, these green shots, and here I'm on the verge of losing to this dude with this team. It's kind of sad, honestly. Come on, Bob. Just give me a slam dunk. Enough messing around. You guys have messed around enough. I just need to get a win. Thank you, Bob. Come on. I just need to get a win. Come on. Put him in. Thank you. It's over with. On to the next game. We're almost to the top board, and that's when we'll see if we'll get the cards we need. Another board here, I mean, I guess. The, Le the League Series 2 standard packs, that's fine. But 100 MT, one token, a gold consumables pack. Like, what are we doing here, 2K? What are we doing here? I get one token, and I'm, I'm, I think this is what? The seven, the seven, like, tier reward? Like, this is terrible. The prizes need to be updated Obviously, the one thing I do like is there's multiple chances to get multiple packs, but the prizes need to be updated. And the fact that not that many people in the community is talking about it is bad. These have to be updated because right now I'm basically playing for the League Series 2 packs or bust. Obviously, right here, I did get a couple of them, which is going to help my No Money Spent Squad account out. Now, these are the opponents you love to see. He's got Amethyst Brad, Ruby Dame, Amethyst Brown, and obviously he's trying to Evo Brown. As long as he lets me do my thing, I'll let him Evo his LeBron James. Okay, you don't, you're not going to let me do my thing? That's fine. No no easy Evo for you. Like, if they let me score at will, which he's not, I will literally let them do whatever they want. Because obviously, he's trying to get this Bron Evo. I, I know what he's, what he's probably trying to do. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he just wants to be a dribble head with Ruby Dame. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a flood either way. bro what am i watching man like okay gerald i see you look at gerald we got up 19 to 10 in that game gotta quit we'll see i'm just waiting for a board obviously not this board but the next board is our first chance to see one of the players and i mean the players aren't the best reward i'll, I'll kind of explain what i'm saying uh with this next board that we see here but fred brown is going to be the most rare player you see right and so uh once we get out of this board i'll, I'll, I'll explain exactly what i'm saying but like what is this board 400 mt is the best thing i can get here that's the best thing and i get 100 mt right this this thing stinks 2k fix this this is awful i should not be able to get 100 mt after literally i've uh, that's my seventh win like this is bad, 2K. Like, this is bad. This is my... This might be worse than, than anything else in your game is your triple threat boards. These are bad. Like, when I say bad, no, I mean these are bad. Like, at least make the MT at least, like, lowest 300. Like, these are just... The rewards are just so bad. Obviously, 400 MT, I'm fine with that right there. I'm just fine. I'm not going to complain about that, but 100 MT is terrible. So, obviously, the order is, is, is kind of high to low. So, right... On the next tier, I'm more likely to see Fred Brown, 
than anything else. And then obviously when with let's let's say this right. I saw 400 MT right there on that board, whereas that on the next tier would be Killian Hayes. Now, that's just kind of keeping things in perspective. So, the odds of me seeing Killian Hayes or Dumboya in the next three games, I think are pretty decent, right? It's a pretty decent odds to see them. I just got to hope 2K is on my side. Another opponent I can live with. I see Brad Daughtery out here. Yeah, like, I'm sorry that, I, that he had to match up versus me, but it is what it is. I see Jared Jack. That's fine. Like objectively this guy is about a zero percent chance to beat me and i think he knows that chill back up jared jack dang i'd be getting hacked for no reason hey bob sir uh hey showtime me yes sir i will say this outside of that first matchup i've been getting some pretty blessed matchups i can't really complain like jared jack he's not going to beat me i know that basically i got a hundred percent chance to beat a guy like jared jack just shoot the ball dude this dude's been pausing the game, just doing weird stuff the entire game. So that's why I'm just, just want to get out of this game so he doesn't like pause, cheese me at the end or anything like that. Just let it go in. Good. Get me out of this game onto the top board. So here's the thing. I'm on the top board now. It's only in the corners. Now, I don't know exactly how it is, but I'm pretty sure if it works like it did. You see this board until you, uh, as long as you close half, you can see this board over and over again. So if I'm going to drop two balls, if I don't get Dubois, I'm going to close my application. It's exactly what my plan is. Can I get to the corner? Uh-oh. I might get him though. Oh my goodness. I had a significant chance to get him right there. That would have been crazy. So I dropped him over there. Now I'm going to drop it on the right side. Hopefully I can get him. I don't, look. I. Oh my goodness. I just got Dubois, right? That should be him. So I don't even have to close app. If I wouldn't have got Dumboya right there, I would have closed my app. But there he is, Seku Dumboya, original owner card. So now all I got left to do is get Killian A. So um, I'm, 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 right, man, I'm happy with this. I got one more guy to get, and then I'll be good. I'll get Evan Fournier pretty easy, right? So I had four total balls. So you could have dropped three balls, but just make sure you don't drop all your balls before you close application. Okay, does that make sense? So if I could have dropped three balls, then close app, and then the next board, I'm pretty sure Doom Boya would have popped up again. But now that I got Doom Boya, hopefully this next board I can see Killian Hayes. And then after that, guys, I will be able to lock in the exchange for Evan Fournier. So doing pretty well so far. I am going to go in here and see what I can get. Glass Cleaner Award Pack, Daquan Cook, Shot Creator Award Pack. We'll open all these after I finish my Triple Threat games. I need to win this game, and I got a tough matchup. Klay Thompson lines the ball. Jack Sigma is this guy's squad. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. But hopefully, at least I get the ball first. I love getting the ball first, setting the tempo right away. Ah, look at Look at my boy, Sura. Hey, Showtime, me, Bob. Yes, sir. Good start to the game with the Showtime dunk. And hey, he quit the game. I don't know if he knew he was playing me or if he was on a bottom board. I don't know what the case was, but I'll take a quick quit. What are the odds I see my... Look, I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy because I don't know how easy it really is for everybody. But hey, it's not been too hard for me to at least see the players. Go left. Go left. Give me a shot. Just give me a shot. Go left. Give me a shot at it. I just might be the best. I don't know what you guys want me to say. I'm pretty sure some people haven't gotten it this easy. But for me, it was not difficult at all. Like, I know a lot of people are like, the corner spots are so hard to get. Listen, I've dropped four balls, and I'm pretty sure out of 50% of them that I've wanted to go to the corner have gone to the corner. So I can't really complain. I can't really say it's super, super hard to get the cards because from at least my experiences, the corner is not too hard to get. Now, that's just my experiences. Obviously, I'm going to try to get a little more MT because another Ruby, Killian Hayes. I mean, can I, I think I can sell him, right? He's not a reward card. So maybe I'll try to get the other Killian Hayes as well and just see if I can. But Killian Hayes, Seiko, Dumboya, both those cards are very, very solid. So I can't really complain about getting them as, as well as locking it for Evan Fournier. He is going to be a big time W. Again, shout out to 2K for making this possible because this is something for the community I think is very, very good. And I'll explain why. Because... I mean, people are going to want to play Triple Threat online just strictly because of that three tokens. I mean, maybe I do I grind XP. I'm not grinding XP, so don't even get started. I'm not going to grind XP, but I will say the rewards aren't that bad in Triple Threat online. 
as much as I complain about him, the contracts are a W, the standard league packs were a W, and it wasn't that hard to get the players in the corners, at least for my for my sake, it wasn't that difficult. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say for your sake, it might not take you three or four boards. Just know, once you see the players, if you don't, drop, if you don't get them in, in your first couple board drops, just close that and you'll see them again. Now, I would say I don't think on these boards it's going to be that hard to see Dumboya or uh or killian hayes but just in case uh you don't want to board without them now that's that's one thing i will say so do get a gold contracts right there obviously a big w shot creator award pack can i pull a hall of fame badge out of one of these that would be absolutely incredible if i could no hall of fame badge there and i get deep fades great glass cleaner award pack can i pull like hall of fame rebound chaser that would be incredible i do pull gold worm so obviously doom boya you know exactly where you're going right in the set for Evan Fournier. Same thing as Killian Hayes. And once I get Evan Fournier, is that's just a big time W. That's a massive, massive W. The fact that you really can get a free pink diamond who is barely worse than Klay Thompson. Literally barely worse than Klay. Obviously he's, I mean, I shouldn't say barely worse than Klay Thompson. He's actually quite a bit worse than Klay Thompson, especially on the defensive end. But this card is definitely going to help me out, help my 12-0 run, help my unlimited run. Doom Boya, Oh, that's how you lock him in. I was wondering how to lock him in. Okay, you got to press the whole square. There we go. Doom Boy at Killian Hayes. Both of them are locked in. Complete an exchange pack. Go to your... Okay, hold up. Hold up. Here he is. The man with the plan. We grinded basically an hour worth of triple threat online. And we did end up getting Pink Diamond Evan Fournier. That is absolutely incredible. An hour spent... And I got Evan Fournier. Now, remember, you do have to be good at the game because you do have to get to the top board. But the fact that they made this Evan Fournier this attainable is definitely a W. Definitely a big time W, 2K. Hold the W because you guys deserve it. Evan Fournier, man. Welcome to 6'7 Sharpshooter to my squad. Yes, sir, Evan Fournier. Let him know what it is. All right, so now that I got this, that I got, I'm not, I'm done playing Triple Threat Online. There's no need for me to play it anymore. I got ultimately what I was looking for. So now I think it's pretty safe to sell. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Gerald Wallace, you're gonna get moved to the backup, uh, backup three position, and this is where we're gonna rock with for now. Now, Crochier, I'm not gonna sit here and say you're never gonna play for me because you might. But for the time being, where? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Do Boya disappears? I thought at least if you locked him in, he would like stay in your collection, right? And just be locked in. But no, they just disappear. I don't know how I feel about that, 2K. Like, I objectively do not know how I feel about that. You lock them in and they disappear. Not that I needed them, but I would I would try out Doom Boy. I think Doom Boy is very, very solid. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I don't need the cards. And I needed Evan Fournier. Look at him. 19 all famer sketches you quarter specialist clamps interceptor this card is absolutely incredible range extender he's got 31 on gold man very complete card that i can't wait to use in tomorrow's episode but i hope you guys did enjoy the episode i'm super super glad i got fournier drop a like on the video comment down below was it easy for you to get evan fournier are you grinding for him let me know how your road to evan was because my road was pretty easy will my squad make a change tomorrow let me know if you guys would like to see a change at the back of point guard position Drop those comments all down below. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.